Dave, if we can start with a rather broad umbrella question sure. um, about externalization. What, what do you see? I mean, you're one of the experts in this field. So what do you see as one of the, or a few of the major trends that are going on <coughs> in externalization within the pharmaceutical industry? I think it's a really good question. I think what we've seen across the industry is some very different approaches to um, externalization. So, for instance, um, AstraZeneca has decided to externalize all its primary and secondary manufacturing capability into the CRO network. Yeah. And in contrast, um, Lilly has decided to um, externalize um, a lot of its early phase uh, development activities, again, into the CRO network. Um, at GSK, we've, we've taken a, a, a slightly different approach. We've set up a, um, a part of our preclinical uh, discovery uh, organization, uh, a new uh, organization called Sinovo. Uh, and into that group, we've put um, all our externalization uh, activities. Yeah. So um, all activities aimed at supporting um, both uh, diligence activities of external companies, yeah. uh, all the activities aimed at supporting our partner companies uh, in early phase discovery, which is coordinated through the SEED, which is the Centre of Excellence for External Drug Discovery. Yeah. Uh, and finally, um, all of our CRO networks uh, are all um, packaged together into the Sinovo. What that means is that we can uh, offer some of our partner companies access to our CRO network at cost.